Hi, it's time for the Hurricane Me Show on Hip Hop Radio. I just want to inspire, motivate, and inform. I really believe that God gave me this gift of rap and talk so I can motivate and uplift people that are down and out and spread the word of God and promote positivity. Because I believe that positivity is the formula to winning. And that's what I do. I win. Hey, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to another great episode of the Hurricane Main Show here on His Hop Radio. And happy Tuesday to y'all, all of y'all out there on your Tuesday grind. You done got Monday out of the way. Today's Tuesday and tomorrow is what? You know, hump day. That's right. It's all about how you look at it, people. And that was straight Hurricane Main style. Good morning, beautiful people, and happy Tuesday to ya. It's your girl, Dijanae, and I am super excited to be on air with you all today to tell you all the good news. So good news is, this is another beautiful day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. That is from Psalms 118, verse 24. We have been blessed with a new opportunity to be a better person today than we were yesterday. No, we will never be perfect and God doesn't expect us to be perfect, but he does expect us to be progressive. And I'm not talking about political, I'm talking about spiritual and physically. So the key to progression is self-reflection. So that's the season that I'm in right now. We're still in quarantine somewhat and we might be going back into more quarantine. So we need to self-reflect. And since I'm mentioning reflection, let me reflect on the past week and weekend since I've been gone um, for some time. I was very busy last week and weekend, but many blessings were poured out last week. So praise report, I led my first youth Sunday school teaching at my church and my sister in Christ and I, Sasha, started a women's Bible study group chat and it is popping right now. We got some women warriors who are on fire for Christ and we are about to grow and I'm super excited. It's such a blessing to be surrounded by those strong women. Um, My friends and I completed relationship goals by Pastor Michael Todd at Transformation Church in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go read the book and take notes because we are about to win in relationships. And I'm not just talking about uh, romantic relationships, but I'm talking about friendships, families, business partners, ships everything we're about to win go read that book i'm going to post it on my social media it was great thank you pastor michael todd for being obedient and writing because god placed it on your heart to give us the blueprint to win at relationships and i feel like i am ready to conquer relationships okay but i'm enjoying my season of singleness right now so guys do not call my phone please okay moving on um hurricane took today off from the show to let me fill in even though he should be resting we all know he's out there still grinding and trying to stay five steps ahead but he will be back next week so bad news is COVID-19 number cases are still rising and I admit I have not been keeping up with the news or Hollywood or pop culture this past week because I've spent my time diligently treasure hunting in the Bible and I found some so much peace confidence joy, wisdom, love, and positive reassurance from the word of God. So I encourage all you listeners as y'all are in your time of quarantine and at the house um, to seek the treasures that are hidden in the Bible. It's it's so much, y'all. Just spend that time. It's going to lift you up and make you feel so much better about what's going on. And um, it'll tune out the noise because it's it's a scare tactic, um, a lot of what's going on. But I'm going to leave that where it is right now and tell y'all to just go read your your bible and it'll enlighten you on a lot of things that's going on right now so moving on um hurricane Maine wanted me to remind you all to wear your mask in public out of the respect for other people um wash your hands more than ever before and be careful out there um i know we celebrated some of us celebrated um july 4th um american independence day um and some of us have been celebrating um juneteenth Um, So I wanted to comment on that, those two holidays. So Romans chapter 12, verse 15 tells us, rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. If I'm being honest, I feel bewildered. My whole life I've been lied to, brainwashed and manipulated by history, H-I-S story, 
Sometimes I feel like a fool walking in darkness, listening to voices and words of influence from a man who I don't even know. Lord, where do I go? I have been in the darkness, but I found the light. I am awakening. And I'm thinking, isn't the very same holiday, July 4th and Independence Day for our oppressors who were once oppressed but broke free from their oppressors and then in return decided to oppress us, black people? They call me black and say it's because of the color of my skin, but my skin is not even black, it's brown. But some people are or claim to be colorblind, so I guess that's their excuse. Furthermore, I found the light and I have been told that Juneteenth, June 19th is the day that the last set of black slaves were proclaimed free. So in this year, 2020, where my vision is clear, I celebrated June 19th with my people. I'm no historian and please forgive me for my ignorance. All the wisdom and knowledge and the truth is hidden, but I'll try to fit some time into my schedule to learn more about our story, Christ's story. So again, Romans chapter 12, verse 15 says, rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. So congratulations, America, for breaking free from your oppressors. Now it's time to weep with us who weep because all of America is not free. Black people, Hispanic people, Asian people, Indian people, all minorities are still slaves to racial constructs and racist systems. The whole world is weeping right now. Mother Earth is weeping right now. America, are you listening? We claim to be one nation under God, yet we have turned our back on God. Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse 14 says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. So that is what I have to say about this past weekend and this pandemic and everything that's going on. Um, I am still weeping. So I'm just asking for those to weep with us. Um, that was heavy. So I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna come back with some scriptures. And we have a special um, interview coming up um, with Timothy Burt. Um, Y'all have probably seen him on social media and in newspapers, but he's a community organizer who has been leading um, great things in our community. So we're gonna take a break. And when we come back from break, we're gonna read some scriptures and then we're going to hear a word with Timothy Burt. So y'all reflect on everything I said, take a break and don't go nowhere because your girl is gonna be right back here. So until then, y'all keep it locked and we'll be right back. Yeah. Yo, man. King Kai, this for you. Yo. Highlight. Shout out to you, K. I got them Pokemon cards on deck. Young Speck on the beat. Yu Gi Oh! Hey, I'm, I'm really feeling my key right now. now. Hey, like real talk, I'm about to go in. It's about time to get animated in here. Where my nerves at? We in there. I love this for real, though. Let go. Hey. Shout out to the master. Let go. This that young Shinobi, Master Roshi flow You y'all your rope, you tuck your tail and go You think you cocky something like Vegeta I'm Broly laughing like, come at me bro Suited up, I got the gun, the wings I praise with instruments, wear the strings And when you type to do the work that I do You don't need Netflix for Stranger Things King James, I got the greatest sword And I don't need awards with this one piece And with these healing powers, some call me Then they I guard the earth cause I come in peace Watch the company you keep around you Don't trust them like they were your coup The ally to all that is good A nightmare to evil like Goku Immortality freezes mad at me and I don't need a wish for it Jesus. Training hyperbolic time chambers game changer when I flourish I'm so rich my city capsule corp I'm eating good and giving all the meals Roger Smith I got a big go and I call upon you when it's getting real My nickname should be cowboy when I'm be bopping these demons Steady conserving energy when I save some for my deacons Charging up to see the glow I bring A conscious rapper ain't no need to sing Attack on Titan David got the sling And now I'm got anointed like a king Man, I got 
to choose Undefeated Satan, such a fool Consistent with the testimony Quest to learn a lesson Now I got the tools Girls be chasing me for my affection Words to teach you, I can pop the question What you got today for everyone I'm staying pure to God, give all his blessings Use K, I got a load of spirit gun Ain't no fear when I use this Use this He, yeah, I got an attitude with these demons Third eye, I'm focused Destructive this to any fake friends I don't show remorse when I cut them off And Mr. Satan got you mistaken When he stretched the tooth, all he do is talk Solar flare, blind to the madness Look, rabbit tricks are still just for kids You would think I was a psychic Pokemon By the way that I might have been Don't kill my calm, I meditate Two steps ahead like Piccolo Crouching tiger, no hitting dragon Nine tails like Naruto Super Saiyan, that's a level up I'm ready for these devils screaming what? Raging Gohan taking bumps on top I thought I told you tell that that's enough I feel the Holy Ghost fire working in me I got the power, I'm about to unleash the key Spiritual with my soldiers as we all pray Creator stories like anime and yeah, we 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 anime I feel the Holy Ghost fire working in me I got the power I'm about to unleash the key Spiritual with my soldiers as we all pray. Creator stories like anime, and yeah, we animated. Hey, 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 it's your boy here, Hurricane Maine, host of the all new Hurricane Maine show on His Hop Radio. And look here, people, with all of the separation going on in our country now, the political groups fighting back and forth, all the hate groups out there spreading negativity, we need motivating toward the Word of God now more than ever. And that's what I'm doing here on His Hop Radio. I'm inspiring, motivating, and informing on the Hurricane Main Show. And we have some fun along the way. So be sure to tune in every Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and tune in for a repeat on Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And be sure to tell your friends to download that His Hop Radio app on iTunes and Google Play Store. Or just Google HisHopNation.com and you can find ways to get in contact with us, get the app, get in our chat rooms, and join our groups on Facebook. We'll love to have you. You're such a blessing. And just keep on keeping on and keep tuning into my show every week. Thank you and God bless. Welcome back. Welcome back from our break. Listeners, that first segment was heavy. But I do feel relieved because I got some of that weight off my shoulders and I have so much more weight and so much more thoughts that I want to get out to y'all. So I'm just blessed that I have this platform to speak to the people on His Hop Radio. Thank you, Hurricane Maine, for inviting me to take over today's show and to be your co-host. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed being able to partner with you. Um, this has been a great experience and I just want to make the people more aware, um, spread the good news and just be a good person. Okay. We need more good people. We need more positive role models and more leaders who are going to lead wisely and not foolishly. We have fallen to the trap of foolishness and it's time for us to wake up and get it together. So I'm going to start being the change that I wish to see in the world and I'm going to use this platform to spread the good news so um if you missed the first segment you can tune back in for a rebroadcast at 5 p.m but we're going to go into some scriptures and then we're going to get into our interview with Timothy Burt um, I'm super excited to let you all hear what he has to say Um, But right now, we're going to open up our Bibles um, to Ecclesiastes. Is that how you say it? Ecclesiastes. Um, That's after Proverbs. Um, I just finished 31 days of Proverbs by myself, and now I'm doing it with a group of women, and it's been a blessing. Now we're in Ecclesiastes, so turn with me there to chapter 3. I know some of y'all ain't at work right now in quarantine, so you got plenty of time to open up that Bible, dust it off, because I know it's been hidden in them shelves. Dust it off, pull up the Bible app on your phone. I'm reading from International Children's Bible, um, because that's way simpler than King James. Excuse me, I'll be stumbling over my words trying to read King James. So we're going to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 through 8. Are y'all there? Okay, there is a time for everything. 
Everything on earth has its special season. There is a time to be born and a time to die. There is a time to plant and a time to pull up plants. There is a time to kill and a time to heal. There is a time to destroy and a time to build. There is a time to cry and a time to laugh. There is a time to be sad and a time to dance. There is a time to throw away stones and a time to gather them. There is a time to hug and a time not to hug. There is a time to look for something and a time to stop looking for it. There is a time to keep things and a time to throw things away. There is a time to tear apart and a time to sew together. There is a time to be silent and a time to speak. There is a time to love and a time to hate. There is a time for war and a time for peace. Y'all, when I read that, I was like, I got to tell the people. I got to tell the people to read it. This is a, it's a perfect explanation of life cycles and life seasons. Um, so we're going to break it down for discussion. I feel like I'm preaching up in here. Um, if I ain't preaching to somebody, I'm preaching to myself. But I hope y'all still listening and y'all haven't fell asleep reading because I have fell asleep reading before. But we're energized because this is some good stuff, y'all. This is some good stuff. This is good soul food. I'm telling you, it's good for your soul. So we're going to break it down and expound on what we're talking about in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. So right now, there is a right time for everything. Everything on earth has its special season. So we're in a season of mourning, hurt, dis-ease, um, a pandemic, with the COVID-19 going everywhere, social injustice, racism, um, hate, uh, anxiety, depression, um, suicide. It's like, it's a whole bunch going on right now. But we have to remember that there is also gonna be a season of happiness, gladness, and us reaping our harvest. Um, there's a time to be born and a time to die. There's a time to plant. Plant those seeds in your workplace, in your family, in your friendships. Plant those seeds and they will grow. Start now. Today is the day to start now. And a time to pull up the plants. There's a time to kill and a time to heal. How many of us need healing right now? All of us need healing. Our time of healing is now. Just believe it and receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, we will be healed. There is a time to destroy and a time to build. Let's build a better country, a better world for ourselves. Let's build it. There is a time to cry and a time to laugh. There is a time to be sad and a time to dance. There is a time to throw away stones and a time to gather them. There is a time to hug and a time not to hug. Right now might not be the best time to hug because we got diseases and stuff going on right now. But we can air hug. We can virtual hug. You know, we can pray. But um, yeah, y'all social distance. Please keep your distance. Keep your mask on. Wash your hands. All of that. Moving forward. There's a time to look for something. Y'all better look into this word and find this treasure that I've been hunting for. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. Um, and there's a time to, what did I say? Oh, there's a time to look for something and a time to stop looking for it. There is a time to keep things and a time to throw things away. I'm not even going to go too much in depth about what we need to throw away. Because those bad habits, we already know we need to throw them away. Those bad relationships, we already know we need to throw them away. So right now, let's just throw it away. Just throw it away. We got a fresh start. Today's a new day. It's a new half of the uh, year, all that. Mm -hmm. So there's a time to tear apart and a time to sew together. Let's sew together body of Christ. No skin color. We're sewing together to unify okay um there's a time to be silent oh i've been silent for a long time y'all but now is a time to speak and i'm using this platform to speak the truth and the word of god to whoever is willing to listen and now you are aware okay and there's a time to love always there's a time to love and a time to hate there is a time for war lord knows i hate war but there is a time for peace so y'all reflect on those. Um, we'll be posting them on my social media because this is good soul food. And this helps me um, think better. This helps me feel better about what's going on. So we're not going to lose faith and lose hope 
um, and lose love um, through this battle. We are fighting a battle. It is not just physically, it is spiritually. So we have to know what we are up against. The enemy is not a person. The enemy is not the person at my workplace that I, that I argue with and that ignores me and that treats me bad. The enemy is that evil spirit. But I rebuke that spirit right now in the name of Jesus and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I know my battles, okay? So I wake up with the full armor of God on. That's Ephesians chapter 6, uh, verse 10 through 18. Check out and read about the full armor of God that you need to have on to withstand and to be victorious in this battle. We know that this battle is um, it's, it's going to be hard as long and we're in a lifelong battle that we're always going to be fighting. But Christ has won the victory and we have victory in Christ. So I encourage you non-believers or those of you who are shaking your face to join the team of Christ. Come on now because we win it. We win it. So don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Keep pushing. Keep striving. Keep being great people. I know y'all are doing great things out there in the world. And I reach out to me on my social media so we can connect and so I can get you on this show and you can talk about what great things you're doing for your community, for the society, for our world and how you're being a positive role model and how you want, you know, just to lead by example, lead in wisdom and not foolishness. So, um, yeah, I'll talk more about my social media later and we're going to take a break. And when we come back from the break, y'all can hear Timothy talk and uh, get a break from me talking because I know I talk so much, but God has blessed me with this platform and this gift of talking. So y'all going to hear a lot more from me, but we're going to pass it over to Timothy after this break. So y'all do not go anywhere because we have more great words of wisdom from a young man of God. Um, so take this break and come right back. Is it straight from heaven? Why do we look for pleasure outside everything but you? Kisses straight from you. Instead of wanting a man to hold me, a man to love me, a man to think of me, Lord, I want it all from you. Fall in love up with you
Marlon Thomas, and you are listening to the Hurricane Main Show on His Top Radio. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, from our break here on the Hurricane Main Show. I hope you listeners have been enjoying our positive, inspirational Christian music that we've been playing. And to all the artists out there who want to submit some of their music on His Hop Radio, you can submit your positive, inspirational Christian music to Category 10 Entertainment at gmail.com. Again, that is Category, the number 10 Entertainment at gmail.com. We would love to hear some of this music that will motivate us and uplift us in time especially like these where we need some inspiration. So this segment is dedicated featuring a a special interview with one of my new friends, Timothy Burt. Um, So when I first met Timothy Burt, he was a nice guy and I could tell he was interesting. You know, he had a little swag. He had something interesting about him. But I had to dig deep and get some do some investigation to um, find out some of this interesting information about him. So he told me that his relationship with God um, began to be a little shaky and he started questioning his religion. So I decided to plant a seed, which is God's word in his life. And I like to say that I've been watering that seed a little bit. I've been calling him, asking him, him, have he been reading his scriptures and praying, you know, just tapping into his spirituality. So it's been a blessing to watch this seed grow in his life. And um, some spark has ignited in him. And now he's eager to spread the gospel. So I invited Tim to come on the show to tell about what he's been doing um, for God, for his community, and to be a positive role model and a leader in times like this so without further ado we're going to introduce timothy burt to the hurricane main show welcome timothy thank you thank you thank you so timothy how are you feeling today in today's new america um i'm amazing actually because god has been allowing me to do some things that he's put in place and i'm following god's will so i'm actually doing amazing right now that's awesome to hear. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing good. So, Timothy, your name is powerful. Like, when I first met you, you know, when I was reading my Bible and stuff, I was like, this man's name is in the Bible. So I had to tap in to see what, what Timothy meant. But I wanted to ask you, what does your name, Timothy, mean to you? Um, so I actually looked my name up online, and my name actually means one who honors God. And so a lot of people have proclaimed a lot of things over my life growing up. But um, a young lady actually said something to me that made me actually want to chase after God and be on fire for God. She said, you don't you don't see God, you feel him. Mm -hmm. And that's what motivated me to chase after him and basically just be on fire for the Lord and spread his word. Wow. Fire for God. We need that in these times right now because. Y'all, the end is near, you know? We don't know when it's coming, but it's near. So it's time to, you know, ignite that fire and get, get our get our flames burning for Christ. So um, would you mind opening up to us a little bit about your spiritual journey? Because um, like I mentioned, you, you told me before that you were kind of questioning your religion and your spirituality at one point in your life. So tell us a little bit about why. What happened? Um, well, growing up, I was born and raised in the church. I, I stayed with my grandma for a short time, and then I moved with my father. But we always um, went to church as a family. And growing up, I felt like it was forced upon me. And when I got old enough to make that decision, I start, I chose to actually continue to go to church. But I had a lot of trials and tribulations that I didn't agree with. And I had arguments with God constantly on things that were happening in my life. So it, it derailed me from the path on following him and reading his word. And then... Um, one night I couldn't sleep and I just started praying to God because um, my youth pastor actually proclaimed something over my life. So I, I got to thinking because I was already feeling a little iffy about God with things that he was doing in my life. And having that conversation with my youth pastor actually motivated me a lot more to continue to chase after God and see what he ha- actually has for my life. Yes, I'm glad you made that that turnover. But um, I've, I've talked to a lot of my friends and people in general who have went through that situation of, you know, questioning their spirituality, especially when things bad things happen. And we wonder, like, why does bad things happen to us good people? But um, sometimes it's just under, 
not easy to understand, but I'm glad that you were able to go back to God and get some of your questions answered and just be back on fire for Christ. It's awesome. It's awesome. So um, I know you've been doing some great things out here in our community. I've seen your name in newspapers, on social media. So um, you led a demonstration um, protest in our, our city square. So what inspired and motivated you to go to the um, police department and ask for a permit to organize a demonstration in our square? Um, so three days prior to the event, I actually couldn't sleep and it was that Sunday night and I was playing my game and I actually cut the game off and laid in the dark and I couldn't sleep and it was about 2.30 Monday morning. I just started to pray and that's when God hit me to do a protest because of these trying times right now. A lot of people are frustrated, a lot of people are emotional and confused on what's going on in the world and he, he put that on my heart. So. With, with doing so, I wanted to talk to the police to see how to go about it the right way. Because as soon as I walked in the police department, I, I asked to speak to the chief. And once the chief came out, I let him know that I wanted to do a protest and I wanted to know how to go about doing it because I wasn't educated on those kind of things. So I made sure I reached out to them and I reached out to Sheriff Brown as well to talk to him and see how to go about things. And they've been helping me along the way, giving me wisdom and guidance on how to do things. Wow, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. It's great that you uh, sought out approval and to ask for help when doing that. So that way the process was much smoother. Because I would say our protest that we had in our square, it was peaceful. Um, I feel like there was definitely the officers on our side, especially because they knew ahead of time what we were doing. You know, we, we didn't have people out there that were just trying to cause a ruckus. So um, I'm glad that you, you know, did it the right way. Um, and I know you've been to other demonstrations in other cities, so I kind of wanted to know, like, what were what was the atmosphere or the conversations like in um, our partnering cities like Conyers and Monroe? Um, well, the event that I went to in, in Conyers was actually um, specifically for a young man named Shali Tilson. Um, a lot of people don't know what happened to Shali Tilson, but he ended up dying in the Rockdale County Jail. And so I went out there to meet with the family and meet with the supporters to see what was actually going on because... Rockdale is one of our neighboring cities and whatnot, so I wanted to be educated on things not only going on in Covington, but around us. And the event that I went to in Monroe was actually a Blue Lives Matter event. Um, and so I went out there to explore how, what what those people think, because we, we shot Black Lives Matter and we refused to listen to the other side. So I wanted to go out there and experience the other side and, and understand why people are shot in Blue Lives Matter. Right, right. And what, what is Blue Lives Matter? Um, basically back in the police back in the police gotcha um we we also support blue lives as well as we've had sheriff ezel brown and uh captain malcolm ken malcolm on our show as well and it's, it's really good to see both sides of the spectrum like you said because everybody is not bad like you can't categorize everybody in one group as bad people so it was great for them to come on our show and tell us more about them so we can hear their story and hear what they have to say and hear what changes they're trying to make with us because we have to work together to bring our community back together and to promote positivity, justice, and all of that. We have to come together. The division is not going to help our side. So I'm glad that you were able to see that kind of difference in, um, in the different cities and protests that you went to. So you didn't stop there with our uh, protests. You had a Juneteenth event that you hosted. Um, so can you explain to the listeners what your event consisted of? Um, well, I actually partnered with a young lady named Miss Terry James. She um, normally hosts an event annually for a Juneteenth celebration. She does a parade out here in the city of Covington. And a lot of people were unaware of what she was doing. And a lot of people are, were actually unaware of what Juneteenth meant to the black community. And so what I wanted to do when I um, spoke with Miss Terry James was educate people on the significance of Juneteenth in the black community and give them a better understanding of why we celebrate Juneteenth. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I needed that explanation because I don't know if I was asleep in history class or what happened, but I don't really remember what Ju Juneteenth was about. So can you kind of explain to us what Juneteenth is, which is June 19th? Yes, what's that? Um. So long story short, Juneteenth is basically when the last um, community of slaves were actually freed um, in Galveston, Texas, and they were the last ones to know. So that's why we recognize Juneteenth so strongly because the 13th Amendment abolished slavery, um, but the slave wasn't free because they were uneducated on what was going on. 
Gotcha. Thank you for that. And now you are aware, people, Juneteenth is our new Freedom Day. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for letting us know that. Um, so what other programs can we expect to see from you and your team of colleagues? I know you got people out there on your team helping you put all this together and y'all are doing great things out there. So what else y'all got for the people? What should we expect? Um, well, we're, we're, we're aiming towards doing a lot more community events because a lot of people recognize me as a community organizer and not a protester or anything of that nature. So I um, do want to call our events community events instead of a protest so like that, that we can make sure that all people are welcome. And a lot of people have been asking me to do another Black Lives Matter movement or, or something of that nature. But regardless of whether we scream Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, or All Lives Matter, we all value the human life. And that's what's most important important to me first and foremost. And I feel like the way to go about that is bringing people together and allowing people to get comfortable with reaching out to other people that they don't know, talking to strangers yes. and connecting with the police as well. And um, our next event coming up will definitely be an event where we have a job fair and have basketball games going on, food, um, concert, music, and stuff like that. And I've reached out to elected officials as well to um, partner up and use my event for a campaign, this event, this next event for a, a campaign speech and their um, political race, because once they get in office, we're going to use them as well to see how we can go about things and about going about things the right way. And so I wanted to give them an opportunity as well to educate people on what they stand for and why, why they want to be in office and what they're going to do as soon as they get in office. And then moving forward on top of that, we're going to our next big step is working towards expungements and right to restrictions for people who have misdemeanors wow. and get get them registered to vote as well. Wow, wow, wow. That all sounds amazing. So that's more that we can do besides, you know, just protesting. Yes, protesting is important, but I love how you mentioned um, actual activities that y'all are going to do behind the scenes as well to keep the ball rolling, you know, and to make change, really create change. So that's awesome. We're going to take a break right now and come back and talk about other ways that the church can help the communities um so y'all stay tuned um enjoy this commercial break um with our new music and we'll come back with more with mr timothy burt you know as a kid where i grew up in my neighborhood it wasn't unlike anybody's upbringing or how they grew up you see all of us young men we were competitive we were all into sports and most of the kids were into the sports that you normally see on TV and in the media, like football, baseball, basketball, and so on. But not me. I had a gift. I had a gift to ride my BMX bicycle. A gift that goes back as far as I can even remember. Something that was a desire that burned within my blood. That's how I can best describe it. And I can remember growing up hanging posters on my wall, magazine clippings of some of the stars of the sport at that time. The people that I just looked at the wall at and said, I wish I could at least compete in BMX bicycles. I wish I could someday meet those stars. Well, later on in life, I eventually started racing and eventually turned professional and ended up sitting on the gate beside those very stars that hung on my wall on the posters. I befriended many of them and now I've been blessed. I've been blessed to have my own show, a show that will spotlight those very BMX athletes that once hung on my wall. Hear their stories of struggle, overcoming, the good times and the bad times, their stories of victory and not giving up. These are the stories that have made them the legends that they are and worthy of schooling all of us on my show, Hurricane Maine's BMX Legends Class 2.0. Let's get it. Tune in by just clicking your His Hop Radio app every Saturday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, only on His Hop Radio. 
thank you and God bless. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Hurricane Main Show here on His Hop Radio. So we are still here with Timothy Burt. Timothy Burt is a community organizer. That's what he likes to call himself. He's on fire for God. So before we took our break, Timothy was explaining to us other programs and events that he looks forward to putting on um, late this summer, early fall. Hopefully this uh, pandemic and virus does not close everything down again because we need we need some fellowship. We need people to come together and do great things for our community. So um, some of the organizers and community leaders that Timothy is partnering with will be district attorneys, sheriffs, um, churches. And I remember, Timothy, you mentioned to me before that you wish that churches would do more for our community. So um, what what else could churches do to help come um, come together and get involved in what we're doing now? Um, well, I would like to see a lot more churches outside. The main objective and what we're doing is to spread love and a life open to God. And moral guidance and counsel need to be given um, from from people who hold respective positions in the church, such as pastors, deacons, evangelists, and so forth and so on, to help guide young people like myself and even others to help motivate them in, in urging um, reading the Bible and prayer and so forth and so on. Because as you see, other other countries or other continents openly praise um, Buddhism and and Muslim. You see Muslims come together, and you see you see Catholics and Methodists and so forth and so on. And that they're, they're they're strongly based in the religious community. And I feel like if if we base the same thing off of Christianity and go out and spread the, the word of God as soldiers as we're supposed to do. It tells us in the Bible. And if we do that, then we can capture a lot more minds and a lot more hearts of the people. Yes. Um, so basically what you was getting at or what I've been thinking of as well is we can't just keep it to Sunday at church spreading the word. We actually have to go out to the people. Um, I was watching a sermon on Transformation Church and one of the pastors was saying um, the church has left the building. So right now some churches are closed, but this is a time for us to go out and um, talk to people, spread the word at your workplace, at the grocery store, at the gas station. Whenever you're encountering someone, it is time now to spread the good news, the gospel to the people. So um, hopefully we'll see some churches joining together on some of your programs. Um, I am interested in putting together some more programs as well to keep the momentum flowing because I don't want us to lose this fire. And I'm all about justice, fairness, equality, love, and bringing people together as well. So I would love to partner with you and your your people to get this thing rolling. So um, y'all stay tuned on our social medias. We will be posting more information about what these events the days, the times for these events. So um, I want to get into some scripture because we're supposed to be spreading the good news. And today is a Tuesday. So we're going to have some readings from Timothy Tuesday. We're going to call it Timothy Tuesday. <laughs> I just made that up, y'all. That was lame. Okay, so um, one of the verses that I read um, was actually 2 Timothy chapter 1. And it, it talked about a flame that's been ignited. And it's interesting because I was just talking about that before. But um, let me read it. Let me read a little bit. So if y'all have your Bibles with you, turn to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. And this was a letter that Paul was writing to Timothy. And it says, that is why I remind you to use the gift God gave you. God gave you that gift when I laid my hands on you. Now let it grow as a small flame grows into a fire. God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid. He gave us a spirit of power and love and self-control. Amen. So that was a word for me. We're not going to be afraid. We're not going to be ashamed to spread the gospel. We're just going to do it with a spirit of power and love and self-control. So Tim, do you have any um, scriptures that you would like to share with us today? Oh, now you've been, you've been shy over there. It's all right, because I brought like four or five of them. <laughs> Not right now? Not right now. Okay, so I had another one that I wanted to share. Um, like I said, ever since I met, met Tim, now when I be reading my Bible, I, I come across Timothy sometimes, and I'd be like, oh, I wonder how Tim's doing. So then I'll call him or text him and be like, so have you done your readings for this week? Or, you know, I'm praying for you. Do you have any prayer requests? So um, one thing that stood out to me was in 1 Timothy chapter 4. So y'all, if you have your Bibles, turn with us to 1 Timothy 4, 
first 11. I hear them pages turning. Okay, okay. You there? We have a Bible study right here in the home. This is quarantine style. You there, Tim? Okay, okay. So 1 Timothy chapter 4 and 11 says, Command and teach these things. You are young, but do not let anyone treat you as if you are not important. Be an example to show the believers how they should live. Show them with your words, with the way you live, with your love, with your faith, and with your pure life. This, this is just speaking to me. Is this speaking to you? Most definitely. I mean, I think they're talking to you, Timothy. I think he's <laughs> talking to you specifically, but I think they're talking to me too. So listeners, don't let anybody tell you that you're way too young to be doing what you're doing. Don't let that intimidate you because God gave us the spirit of power. So let's let's just do it. Spread the gospel. So I, And most importantly, it's, it's about what you say, mm-hmm. how you say it, and to whom you say it. And, and what we fail to realize is we have to meet people where they are because... Mm. No matter what we're going through, God always always reaches us where we are, and He comes to us in our brokenness. Mm-hmm. And, and if you if you tell Him where it hurts, you allow Him to heal you. And we have to be be teach people how to be comfortable in where they are, and to open up where they are, and reach them where they are, and spread the word of God to them during that time frame, so that they can understand where we're coming from and, and how God is going to move in their life, and what God is trying to the message that God is trying to send to them using us. Yes, I love it. And since you mentioned that, with my next verse that I was going to read. So me and my other friend are studying the fruits of the spirit right now. And uh, we're on gentleness. Um, and that's something I'm going to be working on. So y'all pray for me that the Holy Spirit going to give me this fruit of gentleness. But um, it talks about what you said of, about how you say what you're saying to people. You got to watch that. So if you go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, I'm going to wait for y'all to turn to y'all y'all second timothy chapter two okay second timothy chapter two Uh oh did i tell y'all the wrong ones oh no i didn't okay verse 24 and a servant of the lord must not quarrel he must be kind to everyone he must be a good teacher he must be patient the lord's servant must gently teach those who do not agree with him Maybe God will let them change their hearts so that they can accept the truth. The devil has trapped them and causes them to do what he wants, but maybe they can wake up and free themselves from the devil's trap. So I like how they, you know, mentioned being a good teacher, being patient and being gentle with those that you're teaching. Because like you said, everyone's not on the same level as you. Everyone's experiencing different situations in their life that is very questionable. So we just got to be gentle and patient when we're teaching the word of God to people and always teach love because that's what God is love. So I think I have one more. Tim, do you have another one? Um, actually, I have my favorite one. What is your favorite? Which is Romans 12, 2. Be not conformed to this world, but yet be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Yes, I love and that one. to me, that that goes into educating people on things that are going on in the world. And by doing so, I will allow God to use me as a vessel to spread his word to the people. And like you were saying... With, with being calm and collected in your teachings, but you at the same time, you also have to be a gentle listener because in the Bible, God says, um, when the old and the young work together, they're unstoppable and the old provide wisdom and the youth provide strength. And okay, now, you've been reading. We, <laughs> we must be willing to open up and work together with one another and listen to each other so that we can we can spread the, the um, God's teaching um, to to other followers who may be confused or lost or frustrated. And you, like I said earlier, you have to reach people where they are because a lot of people right now are emotional mm-hmm. and they're frustrated with coming out of COVID-19. And I tell people, I, like at my first event, I told people COVID-19 didn't care about color, so why should we? And and with that being said, um, we, we fail to realize that Outside, outside of race, we're all human beings and we're all God's children. And we must understand that as God's children, we all have to live together. And we all have to understand that prayer and worshiping the Lord is our way to say thank you for doing what you do for us. And we, we tend to allow people to make prayers into almost grocery lists. And it's okay to tell God everything that you want and everything that you need and be specific with him when talking to him. 
But at the same time, we must understand that we we are operating on God's timing and God's timing is perfect timing. And we, are, we have to be patient and allow God to use us and work through us for what he, his main objective is. Yes, well said. I could tell you've been reading them scriptures because I read that same scripture the other day talking about um, how old the older wise and the young are strong. That's what it was. Yes, strong and beautiful. We cute, we cute. <laughs> but yes, y'all. So um, I have another scripture. Um, this will be the last one and it's directly directed to Timothy. That's what it says. So everyone turn to 1 Timothy chapter 6. 1 Timothy chapter 6. Verse 20. You there, Tim? All right. Bible study at the house, quarantine style. <laughs> so it says, Timothy, God has trusted you with many things. Keep those things safe. Stay away from people who say foolish things that are not from God. Stay away from those who argue against the truth. They use something they call knowledge, but it's really not knowledge. They say that they have knowledge but they have left the true faith. God's grace be with you, Timothy, as you're going out to spread the gospel. And it's not just all the burden and you know everything on you too. We're gonna do our part as well because the Bible speaks to all of us. But yes, 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 y'all. I hope y'all got a word from today. I will post those scriptures on my social media as well. And if you missed any part of this interview, you can tune back in at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we're not gonna close it out quite yet. Um, I'm gonna run through some of our social media handles and let y'all know what churches y'all can look forward to um, going to so, um, Timothy, what church do you attend? Um, I actually attend Victoria's Life Victoria's. Church in Kynes, Georgia. Okay. And I attend Faith of Jesus Ministries in Covington. Um, my, my church streams online as well. And um, Transformation Church streams online on YouTube as well. And, um, Timothy, did you have any closing remarks or any other scriptures that you wanted to throw in there before we let you go about your day? Um, actually, I wanted to speak on that last scripture that you read mm -hmm. um, that was basically directed to me. Um, um, basically, I just want to tell people to be bold with the gift that God has given you. And God allows us, he, he places people in place, in place for a reason. And we, we tend to allow other people to proclaim things over our life, um, such as people telling me I should run for offices and stuff like that. And that's not in God's plan for me right now. And so you must be bold in what in what God has for you and you you must stay strong because he says be still and know that I am God. So we we must always reach out to him and my my main focus right now is with the slogan that he's get, given us um no community without unity. And I feel like with with what we're doing and involving the church and involving other people and surrounding ourselves with great people to talk to and who all follow after God, we we can bring this community together here in Covington, Georgia, and be a model community for the entirety of the United States. Yes, I love it. I love it. And I'm going to say one more thing. I love how you mentioned like being aware or be aware of what other people are proclaiming over you. Um, but when you tap into the word and you read it from yourself, it's God saying it to you. So um, I encourage you listeners out there, you know, don't just take the preacher's word for it or your mom's word for it or your dad's or your coworkers or whoever. Um, spend some time in this quarantine to in life in general but um we have extra special time right now because i'm pretty sure we're about to get shut down a little bit more i, I hope not but it's that's what it's looking like. But y'all gonna have extra time to tap into your Bibles and read the word for yourself and let God speak to you. You don't always have to hear what somebody else has to say about you. What does God have to say about you? So tune in, tap into your Bibles. If y'all want some prayer or y'all would like me to read with you, you know I'm always willing to do that. So y'all can hit me up on my Instagram. It is Dijanae, which is D dot j dot a dot n dot a dot e and we i would love to do some bible studies with you all and some bible plans on the bible app um and some prayers so timothy how can we get in contact with you and follow you on your social media to see what programs you have coming up um people can add me as a friend on facebook my facebook is timothy burt t-i-m-o-t-h-y burt b-i-r-t um my insta they can also follow me on my instagram which is young dot Simba seventeen Y O U N G dot S I M B A seventeen. 
All right. Well, thank you so much, Tim, for joining us on the Hurricane Main Show. We will definitely be talking to you another time. And listeners, we're going to take a break, but we're going to be back to close it out and to let y'all know more updates that's going on in the world. So y'all enjoy the break and keep it locked. We'll be right back. All right. A boss queen is a blessed, overcoming, saved sister. God has called his daughters to be kingdom royalty. So ladies, straighten up your crowns and let's run this. Boss queen, boss queen, boss queen, giving you Boss queen, boss queen, boss queen, doing your thing. An angel came and whispered in my ear. Boss queen, keep winning from here. The hurts, the pain, the shine Has pushed you to step into your thing They don't understand you Your law from the heart From pain to purpose God's plan from the start Winning is your thing You're on the potter's wheel Shake them on this secure command God the like G Water, it's faith for I'm strong on time. Believe me, you drink. Got an angel looking down, watching over you, boss queen. It's time to do your thing. The time is now, your turn is come. Let's get it, boss. Up the souls to be born. Brought his calf, now it's the way. Christ is light, I came and come. Boss queen, boss queen, boss queen. Doing your thing. Boss queen, boss queen, boss queen. Doing your thing. Welcome back to the Hurricane Main Show here on His Hop Radio. Today has been a blessing. Thank you, listeners, for listening, for tuning in. I hope y'all were taking notes because the soul food that we was providing today is so good, okay? So if y'all liked all that soul food um, from today, be ready to join us again at next week. And if you missed any part of this episode, be sure to tune back in today at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, shout out to Timothy Burt for joining us on the Hurricane Main show he has left the building to go spread the gospel i encourage you all to leave your homes and leave your safe places and um spread the gospel as well and if you don't want to go out 
side you can spread it online um we have this blessing of technology to um do things online so you can spread the gospel online on your social media uh, make phone calls to your families and friends have some group facetime calls to read the bible and stuff that's what me and my friends are doing we're doing a lot do that there's always something you can do there's always more to do saints we have work to do for the kingdom of god and it starts right now um so don't waste this time don't delay this process there are <laughs> i'm not gonna go on a rant because i've exhausted my my words for today so i'm just going to go ahead and let's um give give our condolences to those that we have lost in this uh battle um in this pandemic so Rest in peace um, to everyone we lost in life, but Shelly Tilson, uh, Brianna Taylor, George Floyd, um, Ahmaud Aubrey, uh, Trayvon Martin, Eric Gardner, um, Antoine Rose, um, Philanthro Castile, um, Alton Sterling, all these people. Y'all know the names. There's a list of names all over the internet. Um, rest in peace and um, for justice um and for a better world and a better society um so moment of silence and before we depart i have to say a prayer y'all um it's it's time for battle like i said it's time for war and i'm talking about spiritually um before physically um so just make sure you have your full armor on every second um make sure you're diving in the word because the word of god is a weapon it's our sword prayer is powerful so we're gonna hear today um before we dismiss so here we go Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have made, that you have blessed us to see. We thank you for breathing your life into us today. We thank you for your grace, your favor, and for your mercy. We ask, we're repenting right now and asking for forgiveness for our sins, Lord. Please forgive us and please forgive those who have sinned against us. We're also asking that you open our hearts for us to forgive ourselves and to forgive others and also um, help others to forgive us from any transgressions um, that we have done against others. We're asking for the Spirit to come and intercede on our behalf. We know that as flesh and as humans, we sin and we're not perfect and we make mistakes and we fall short, but we're asking for the Holy Spirit to come right now and intercede on our behalf. We know that where we are strong, you, God, and your Spirit uh, makes us stronger when we are weak. Um, we're just asking for more of you, more of your guidance, more of your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, more of your truth, more of the light. Um, we're asking that you strengthen us to be the light, to light the pathways for those who are in darkness, um, God. And we're just asking that you continue to um, strengthen us and heal us in all of our areas. Sick, oh Lord, we're praying for your healing power over our lives and um, our family, our loved ones, and over this nation. We're yielding and surrendering to you, God. Um, we're surrendering our will and our desires of our life and letting you take control over our life um, today. And we just thank you for this opportunity to spread the good news. And we ask that you help us to be bold and confident to spread the good news to others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Listeners, y'all have a blessed and prosperous week. <laughs>